Well, hello everybody, and welcome to UBA Season 1, Controller Falls Over, Week 6. As you can tell from that screen just there, we're playing Nate Tube, big friend of the channel, and we're playing him. I think it's only the second time we've battled him as well, across EBO and UBA, so quite an exciting, quite an exciting time, actually. Um, we're both down the bottom, <laughs> the bottom end of the UBA table, I think we are actually second bottom and bottom and the game's just gone so um i'm going to try and get that going let me just at least select what i'm doing first and then we'll come back <laughs> and i'll figure out the technical issue let me just do that right now i've got to figure out this technical issue <laughs> uh, basically yeah we are both down there i think bottom and second from bottom is you know it's not great down there but essentially we both want to win we both want to give it a go there you go that's back now and yeah, he's got a scary team. Obviously, the Roaring Moon and the Urshifu. Very scary foes. The Decidui there. Yeah, it's tough. Where I plan for everyone's mons, all nine of them, um, whenever I see the team of six, I always forget who the other three are. <laughs> so it's like I don't ever try and predict the team of six that they're going to bring. I just, I just see what happens. I try and roll with it. <laughs> Anyway, let me just get the uh, the speeds loaded up here, but I'm also going to try and make sure that that doesn't stop the gameplay again like it did just now. So, Flash Gordon. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We're going to go mass old. We're going to go mass old because he hasn't really had a time. Uh, hasn't really had its time yet, household. So let's just go tidy up. Let's see if we can survive a move for a start. It might be Volt Switching. Yeah, Volt Switching into someone. That's fine. We're gonna get a tidy up off. And see who he goes into. I think we'll outspeed whoever he goes into now, so that's good. Master Shifu. Oh the Urshifu. Okay. Um tidy up. Let's raise our speed and attack. Why not? Now this thing should have technician, so Aerial Ace is gonna do just as much damage as Play Rough. Uh, I'm just going to double check it has got, yeah, it has got technicians, so that's good. So I think we should just go for a, a area lace and not bother with any accuracy checks. Yeah, it's pretty good. We could have terastalized then into the ghost type as well. So we could have given that a go. Right, so the Urshifu could have that sort of speed. Okay, okay, interesting. Let's have a look and see what else we can do here. I mean, we've got you with the air slash and the vault switch. Uh, we've got you with acrobatics. But I don't really want to go put you out for a possible dark type move. Um, we've got you here, obviously. So let's go. Yeah, let's go Capaldi. I hope Nate sees the theme of the team names. <laughs> I hope he does. Right. Has he got a move that goes through Protect? I can't quite remember, actually. I can't remember if he does or not. So we're just going to Protect anyway. I think he might have a move that goes through Protect. I don't know. Even if he switches here, I could have gone for a Dazzling Gleam first off, because I think I outspeed anyway. But I don't want to show too many cards if he is going to switch. So we'll see what he's doing here. We'll see what he's doing. What's he going to do? We might go for the Roaring Moon. If he does, that's quite helpful for us because we've got the Dazzling Gleam. Okay, if he goes to the Roaring Moon, that'll be a plus. Tecton, I don't know what that means. I don't know what the nickname themes are. So I'm going to... I'm going to leave that. <laughs> for you guys to tell me in the comments. Right, so we've got the speed boost. Is he going to go for a dragon dance here, possibly? Is he possibly going to go for a dragon dance? Well, let's Dazzling Gleam. Yes! We got a kill. We got a KO. That's good. <laughs> That's better than nothing. Just trying to make sure this is all still going. Yep, it's all still going. That's good. Yeah, apologies for the bad lighting here and everything. Tasha's not feeling very well when she's up in the bedroom at the moment. So I'm down here. But uh, good news is, soon enough, I should have my own recording space in a 
and a brand new house. And I'll say no more. Let's leave it there. <laughs> okay, so you're going to use a ghosty move, I reckon. Should we baton, baton pass out of here? Shadow sneak. Oh, that's actually quite helpful. Because now we get a free switch into somebody else. And boost their speeds. We can boost speed. I don't know who we want to boost the speed off, though, to be fair. I mean, a Mew, but obviously if he's got Shadow Sneak. It's a tough one. Um, I'll tell you what. Um, let's try the Mew. Let's try the Mew. Why not? I think I might Terrestrialize here as well. I think I might terrestrialize here. We'll go for a fight and type and go swords dance. Good old shiny Mew. So then we can outspeed and we'll have a plus two attack, which is deadly for this thing. So we're gonna terrestrialize. If he's gone for something that's super effective to fly in, that's a fantastic play. Uh, flying? Okay, so super effective to fighting. Like flying, for example, actually. So we'll see. got shadow sneak okay okay he might choose to switch here I don't know but then again he might have a flying move so I don't really know okay well let's go for acrobatics let's go for acrobatics Okay. Okay. All still recorded. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but um, yeah, I might be out of here soon. This place, getting my own place, might be soon. I'm not going to go into specifics and details, but things are looking very, very good after today's news that we, me and uh, Tasha, have got. Um, let's go EQ. Oh, that's fallen over again. I'm hoping we've got something for everyone now. Hoping. We'll see. He's still got his terror as well, he still could hide something. Up his, he might have something up his sleeve. Yeah, he might have something up his sleeve, I don't know. Hmm. Let's go acrobatics. Ah, go on, Mew! It's your time! Right. I'm waiting for him to trick me with a terror, a terror move, or a terror, you know, just that sort of thing. Hmm, is this going to be fighting or water if he terrors, obviously? Well, we'll go acrobatics again. Hmm. I'm on Musy. Right, I can't remember who he's got left. Oh, Weavile. It might be the Weavile. I don't know what he's going to terror that into. He's got a terror this turn, surely. I would expect so, anyway. Give this a go though. If this is Ghost, it's a fantastic choice. Let's see what he's got. Ice, okay, okay. So it's still going to be super effective. Let's see what he can do. 
Yes. A much needed win. Oh, GG's, Nate. I just... Oh, that Mew can be lethal. If it plays out right, which it hasn't done all season, to be fair. It hasn't really had its chance. <laughs> but everybody, go over and watch Nate's side now. Go over and watch that. Don't worry about me. Go over and watch his. Go and sub to him. That... That... That got... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> go and sub to him. But that's it from me. Thank you for watching this video. Next week, we have Lonely Hermit in the final week of the regular season. Then it's into playoffs. Every team gets a playoff spot. First v 8th, 2nd v 7th, etc. So, yeah. The stand-ins will be out at some point after that. But that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.